Hey, what's going on? Ecom Dominators. Cynthia here. And in today's video, I just want to talk a little bit about funnels. Now, I know a lot of people who are watching my channel are using Shopify. I am also still using Shopify, but I think a lot of people are missing out on the funnel opportunity. Now, with ClickFunnels is the platform that I'm using. I like it because it's very easy to use. There's really no coding experience needed. It's all drag and drop, which is what I like. Now, a lot of people who are saying, you know, Cynthia, I want to test out a niche, but I don't want to create an entire website, which I get it because it's very time consuming. You invest a lot into testing a niche. But now with funnels, you can literally test out a niche literally within hours. All you have to do is set up one landing page with one product and you can get started. Sorry guys, there's some construction going on over there. But anyways, right now if you're using funnels, a lot of my students are seeing high conversion rates because that's what they're built for. The landing pages are built to just get higher conversions than a traditional website like Shopify. Now, with ClickFunnels, people are worried about, well, Cynthia, I don't want to just test one product. But you see, guys, you only need one product, one winning product, and that's all you need. All right. And so if you are, say, you want to test out a new niche in maybe the cat niche, but you don't want to build an entire store. Go on ClickFunnels, just build one product page and you can get it up and running. Test the entire concept. Works if works better than a traditional website like Shopify. And so right now, my strategy is whenever I'm testing a new niche or a new product that I'm not sure of, I'm just gonna go and create a one page landing page and run Facebook traffic, Pinterest traffic, whatever traffic source you use. And that's it guys. And then I can see, okay, read my metrics. This product is working. This niche is working for me. Then I'm just going to build an entire Shopify store. Super easy. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be hopping over to my computer and showing you guys exactly how to build a high converting funnel. And if you guys want to the end of this video, I'll be sharing my exact funnel that you can swipe, steal, and use it as your own. All right, guys. So let's hop onto my computer. So how do you get started with ClickFunnels? Now, if you are new to my channel, hey, what's up? My name is Cynthia and I teach everything related to how to make money online, print on demand, e-commerce. So if you are interested in watching more videos just like this, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel so you get more content just like this. Alrighty guys, so the first thing that you wanna go ahead and do when you wanna get started with ClickFunnels is obviously register for your free 14 day free trial. Now you can head on to this link, it says freetrial.tbootcamp.com. Once you click on this link, you will get access to the 14 day free trial with ClickFunnels. Now I do love that ClickFunnels offer this because you can literally try it for 14 days risk free and if it does not work for you, you can cancel it and you won't be charged a dime. Now if you guys watch to the end of this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can claim my exact done for you high converting funnel so you can get access to all of my high converting funnels and you'll also get access to my entire click funnels course literally 100 percent free so don't forget to watch till the very end and i'll show you guys how to get access to all of my free funnels plus my free click funnels course Alrighty guys, I do not want to board you guys with PowerPoint slides. I just want to hop right into ClickFunnels and kind of show you guys how to create your first ever funnel. So let's hop on over guys. So right now I am on clickfunnels.com. Now in order to claim your free 14 day free trial, you have to go to freetrial.tbootcamp.com just like I have it in the domain. Now once you guys come on here, you wanna go ahead and click this button that says start free 14 day trial now. And then they're going to ask you a few information. So I'm going to enter my information in. And then click start building. 
So after you enter in your email, they will take you to the next page where they'll ask you for your billing information. Now, this does not mean that you pay ClickFunnels immediately. If you cancel before the 14-day free trial, you will not be charged. This is so they have your credit card on file, but you can go ahead and register for it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my information and I'll be right back. So once you guys enter in all of your information, right now you'll be bought to the main dashboard. Anytime that you log into ClickFunnels, this is the first thing that you will see. So over here, they're gonna show you your uh, total gross revenue. They're gonna see how many purchases you made uh, for that day or th within the last seven days. So you can obviously adjust this as you guys go. How many opt-ins, how many page views, all of your stats will be here. Now the first thing that you wanna go and do when you uh, create a funnel, you wanna come down over here, it says click funnels, and then they'll give you a drop down menu. Go ahead and click on funnels. This is literally uh, where you'll be spending 99% of your time on click funnels because this is the part where you actually create your landing page and your actual funnel. So the first thing you wanna come and do is click add new. Now they're gonna ask you, um, do you wanna start a cookbook or uh, create a new funnel? So we're gonna go ahead and create a new funnel. Now they're gonna give you a few options on ClickFunnels. So you have the ability to collect emails. So if you're running um, an opt-in campaign or you have the option to sell your products. So this is especially good for people who are selling digital products, e-commerce, physical products. If you have a private label product, um, this is what you'll be clicking. And most of my students doing print on demand will be doing sell your products or host a webinar. Um, but that's mo mainly if you're doing, you know, um, a live session where you're selling any type of products. But Today, for this video, we're gonna mainly focus on selling our product. So I'm gonna click uh, the middle one. And then they're gonna ask you, do you wanna create a sales funnel, product launch, or membership? Now, um, you can either, you can go with either, but with membership, ClickFunnels do allow you to create your own membership area. Now, obviously, a lot of people doing e-commerce will not be using this function. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on product launch. Now, they're going to ask you uh, to enter in the name of your funnel. Now, this name will not be shown to your customer. This name is just for you to know in the back end. So I'm just gonna say demo funnel, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click build my funnel. So after that, you are gonna be taken to this page where you can customize every uh, step of your funnel. So your funnel will be all laid out here. This is just laid out by default. Um, so the first thing you want to come and do is actually select from all of their pre-designed um, funnels, which is already very professional, already well done. Obviously, you have the ability to also go into the funnel marketplace where you can actually pay for someone else's funnel. And so these, most of these are paid. So if you look through here, you don't like the free ones that they offer, you can obviously purchase one yourself. But for today's example, I am just going to select a funnel that is given to us for free by ClickFunnels because they do have already have beautifully um, created these funnels. So the first thing we want to come and do is now they give you a few options depending on what your objective is. So our object objective is sales. So what I'm gonna go ahead and click on sales. Now with this, I can choose to create a page for sales page, product launch, order form, et cetera, et cetera. So for this one, since I am not collecting an email address, I want to create a sales page. I am going to click sales page. Now immediately, they're gonna give us tons and tons of different funnels that we can go ahead and use. So you can just browse through here and see what you like. Now you can also come here and also check out product launches. They have different funnels as well. You know, say that you wanna check one out, but you don't wanna select it yet. They give you the option to preview it. So this is how it will look like if say I am previewing one of the funnels 
um, that I may be using. Now again, if you don't like any of the colors or the placement, don't worry about it because if you select this template, you'll be able to customize it, move certain videos around, you'll be able to change the text. You don't like this pink border um, background over here, you can change it to blue, green, etc, etc. Same thing with this button. If you don't want this button here, you can always customize it however you guys want. All right, so you do have the option to preview each of the funnels to see which one you like. So right now what I'm going to be doing is kind of picking one and showing you guys how to create a funnel from scratch. So the one I'm going to be choosing is this one over here. Um, I really like the look and feel of this one. Let me just preview it so you guys can see. Obviously, um, you can replace this video with an image or you can upload your own video, however you want. Again, this is simply just to kind of get you guys started and have all, everything in the right place. All you have to do is kind of replace videos, images, some of the text, things like that. But most of it is pretty much already completed. You can go ahead and edit this or delete it out. So for the purpose of this training, I'm going to select this one. So all you have to do is click select template and they're going to load it on to your funnel. So this will be the first step. As you guys can see, this is the first page that your customers will see once they click on your link and land on your page. Now, the first thing you want to come do is go ahead and edit the page. All right, so once you come on here and you click edit the page, notice that whenever I hover over the logo or I hover over the text, I'm able um, to edit it because I have these boxes that come up. Now, when I'm in this mode, I can easily replace this logo over here. So let me show you guys how to do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and click it. And automatically, um, we see this window that will slide out on the right side. And I can go ahead and click on image over here. And then I can start uploading my own images. So I'm going to upload my sample logo and I'll be right back. So I just upload the logo that I'll be using. So for this example, I'm going to show you how to create um, a product page. And so the niche that I chose will be unicorns because it is a very popular niche. And that will be the example. So all you have to do is click on the one that you want and go ahead and click add image. Now immediately, once I click add image, it will appear right where the previous logo is. So I do love that ClickFunnels um, have already pre-built this for you super easy to customize now notice the color scheme of my logo I definitely want to match the color scheme um, on my page as well so for this one I want to change out the top border uh, orange to maybe this turquoise color or this pink color so I'm going to go ahead and change that out and it's very simple. Um, they have background color here. All you have to do is click on it and they give you the option to kind of click and choose what type of color you guys want um, for the border. So I'm go going to go ahead and just pick one that I like. All right, this looks perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. So make sure that you save your work. Now they'll ask you to title it. Don't worry about your customers seeing your title up here. Um, this is strictly just for you to see. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, you know, unicorn um, demo demo page. And then I click out and I'm click save. Now the top bar, you can use it to make any type of announcements, things like that. So obviously this does not apply to our sales page. So I can go ahead and click, you know, type this in and say limited supplies only. All right. And then I'm going to come down over here. And now instead of this uh, image, of this video I can obviously swap it out for a photo post which is what I'm going to be doing so um, over here I'm going to actually delete this out and they're going to ask you okay now once you delete it out you can go ahead and add in a new element so with this element they give you the option to add a headline um, a bullet list um, buttons 
almost anything that you can think of, they will have it available here. So I'm going to click on image because I want to um, put in the product that I really want to sell. Now the product that I'm going to be uh, testing is this one. All right, so this is my test page and say for an example, I want to sell this unicorn t-shirt. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uploading um, either the product that you have in your page or a mock-up that you did by yourself. So I've already uh, pre-created my mock-up for this specific t-shirt that I want to sell. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload it here. So again, we're going to upload the image and I'll be right back. Okay, so I uploaded the product that I want to promote, so I'm going to go ahead and click Add Image. Alright, so let me see how it looks like now. The image pops on this side, which is what I want. However, on this page, it seems like it's a little too big. Now, you can always have the option to resize your t-shirt. So, for an example, I can go ahead and kind of test out how big I want it. So, I'm going to type in 200. That looks a little too small, so I'm going to go ahead and say 500 so that looks perfect so again you have the option to resize your image if you don't like the size that it came out I'm gonna go ahead and click save all right um, so let's come back up here um, I do want to change out this text and then to something that relates to the t-shirt that I have here so let's just say for an example I'm just gonna type in want this awesome and then I'm going to type in unicorn t-shirt okay so you can type in any type of headline that you guys want obviously the orange does not match my color scheme so I can change it to something else Right, that's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and click save. All right, guys. So we are almost halfway done. Um, basically, I've already have the logo, headline, and also my product image already uploaded. And so it's really all mostly just changing out the buttons and the description. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is... Um, change out the text that they have here now obviously I'm trying to sell this t-shirt so I definitely want to provide my customers um, with all the detailed information about you know the make of this t-shirt what it's uh, the material things like that so if I come back over to my store these are the information that I provide for my customers now this is my Shopify store but you can absolutely copy everything that you have here over to ClickFunnels and your customers will be able to see everything. So um, I'm just going to copy everything that I have here. Let me come back to ClickFunnels and I'm going to paste it in here. Obviously I want to do that. And since I feel like this does not make sense with my page, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it out. Okay, so now I have all of the information about this t-shirt for the customers to see. And then the next part over here, it says, you know, this, the call to action over here does not really make sense with the product I'm trying to sell. So obviously with ClickFunnels, you can always change out the text. So in here, I had I can have the option to say add to cart. All right, so let me move myself over here. Add to cart, or you can say something like um, claim it now, or buy it now. Okay, so you have multiple different options. Um, I'm just going to keep it at buy it now, and then I have the option to, of course, change out the button now. I do want to keep my color scheme the way it, um, with the blue and the pink. So I'm going to change my button colors to buy it, to this nice blue color. Now for this one, you have the option to edit the 
action, which means whenever someone clicks on this button, you need to tell ClickFunnels um, where it should go. Should it go to a website or the next stage in our funnel? Now, in this case, because we are selling this particular product, once people click buy it now, we definitely want them to go to the next stage of our funnel, which is to enter in their credit card information to purchase this product. So um, in this example, I'm just going to select an action and um, I'm just going to click go to the next step in the funnel. And then I'm going to go ahead and click save. All right, so that was basically super easy to create this funnel. There was nothing hard about it. ClickFunnels make it super easy with their drag and drop system. Now over here, you can obviously change out any of the text, but for the sake of this uh, video, um, I'm not going to need any of these. Um, now, if you have any type of testimonials from your previous customers, you can always put it down here on the funnel. It will increase your conversion rate. People will see other people enjoying your product and they will trust your site a little bit more and they're more inclined to kind of purchase your products. So over here, I'm just going to delete out everything that's down here um, because I just want my funnel to be as simple as basic as possible um, the reason why i love click funnels is because we are creating a landing page for the customers to only focus on one product that's why the conversion rate is very high because it's not like a traditional website like shopify where when people hit your website you're presenting them with 50 hundreds of different types of products you know when people are presented with so many different products they end up not purchasing at all because they are so overwhelmed um, but so the idea of click funnels is you're only giving them the option of one particular product um, and so this is what I really want to focus on in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one out. Obviously, you can go ahead and replace your logo down here, but in this case, I don't want the logo here. Um, obviously, you can enter in all of your social links, Facebook, Twitter, if you have them, enter in your terms and conditions, privacy policy, refund policy, things like that. So in this case, I'm just going to go back up here and click save and let's move on back to the next step. All right, so now we have our first landing page created. So the next step would be the order form. So make sure that you're clicking on the second step inside of your funnel um, so that you are creating the second page. Again, for the second page, after we want um, our customers to click buy it now, to enter in their credit card information. We really don't want them to go through too many hoops in order to um, purchase their products. So in this case, I can go down here and then select order form. Once I come over to order form, they're gonna give you tons and tons of different templates that you can select from. Um, so you just come here, again, browse through uh, the type of format that you guys want. Um, I think I'm looking at this one over here that I really like. Let me just go ahead and preview it. So I like this one because it's nice and pink and it has that unicorn vibe that I like. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this particular template. And then I'm going to click edit page. All right, again, now that we are uh, bought here to the order form, again, notice that everything is already pre-built. You just have to change out some few colors, change out a few text, change out a few image, and you are good to go. That's why I love building out landing pages. I can easily test a product super, super quickly. So over here, I do not want this as my logo. I will want to change it to my logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add image. So notice how easy it is. Um, I can go ahead and come on over here and I can make the size bigger if I don't like it. So I can click 700 if I want to. Um, over here, I can change this out to say complete your order. And then if you don't like the bottom text, you can always go ahead and delete it. And um, another thing, by the way, is if you look at look at your top border, if there's too many space, ClickFunnels give you the option when you click on settings to scroll down over here where it says 
um, padding and over here is at the bottom you have the ability to shrink the top border or if you want more space you can go ahead and add more space to the border so um, you can always adjust it again this is the bottom you can also adjust for the top as well but I think I like it the way it's going to look out like that so I'm going to go ahead and save it now over here, um, they're going to have a picture of a girl, which I'm going to replace with my product image. So I'm just going to select the product that I want to sell, which is this unicorn t-shirt. So then I can just rearrange this text to say yours for just, and then I can type in how much I am selling this t-shirt for. So I can just say $21 today. I'm going to go ahead and click save. All right. So over here, you can type in some reviews if you have it from your customers. Um, in this case, I don't have any reviews from my customers, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And then over here, um, you can type in text or you can just delete it. Um, you can just say, enter your shipping and billing information below to complete your entire order. Okay. Again, this is optional. You can either enter this or um, delete it out. Now again, they've already pre-built this for you, which means the person coming in to enter in their information will put input their name, email address, uh, shipping information, their payment information, credit card numbers, etc., etc., and then they can click this button called Buy Now. Again, you can um, go ahead and customize this button super, super easily. And then over here, I can just say Complete My Order. And if you don't like the button, obviously you can change it out to blue if you want to. Just gonna go ahead and click Save. Um, this one doesn't really apply to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this out. Again, I can keep this the same as that one, and if I want to, I can also um, change it out to my logo. And then I can type in any text down here for all unicorn lovers. Okay, you can type in anything you want. You can also add in more of your refund policy, privacy policy, FAQ, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. All right, so in a few minutes, I've already, you know, customized this to fit my brand, fit my logo, um, fit the product I'm trying to sell, fits my niche. You know, ClickFunnels, again, makes it super easy. You don't have to have any type of coding skills. You don't have to be a developer. Um, you can obviously come in over here and choose from their pre-built templates. And then all you have to do is swap everything out. So the next part I'm going to do is when they click complete my order, the next stage, you want to make sure that you're selecting is go to the next step in the funnel. And then I want to go ahead and click save. Now before I show you guys the final step, which is creating the thank you page, whenever you are creating a product to sell, ClickFunnels doesn't know the type of product you're selling. They don't know um, how much you are planning to charge for it. So you definitely need to set those rules inside of ClickFunnels. So you have to set it on the order form um, and not on the first page of your landing page. So it's definitely very different than Shopify. We do set it on usually the second part of the funnel. So right on your order form, you'll see the option to add in your product. So over here, you can actually customize um, your um your type of products that you're trying to sell. So the first thing they're going to ask you is your payment processor. So I definitely do recommend the Stripe or if you have PayPal, whatever you guys want um, to receive your payment. So obviously link up your Stripe account. And then they're going to ask you is this subscription, which is recurring every single month or a certain payment plan, or are you doing a one-time fee? So obviously I'm doing a one-time since I'm just selling a t-shirt. So I'm just going to go ahead and click save. 
Now over here, they're going to give you the product name. So make sure that you're very clear on the product name here because this is what your customers will actually see when they purchase your product. So I'm going to type in over here, unicorn t-shirt. And then my product price, I can just say $21. And then I can add in all of my shipping origin address, etc. And then you can add in product quantity limit. Do you limit them how much they can buy, etc., etc. So that's basically it. I'm not going to enter in any of my shipping information here, but once you enter it in, you just go ahead and click save. So once you click save, you will be able to create that product and it'll show um, when people go to checkout. Now the last thing that I want to show you guys is how to create your thank you page. Now this page is very important because on this page you can add in a ton of information like FAQs, um, when people will get their orders, things like that. Um, just so people know that their order is complete. So over here I'm going to come on over to um, opt-in and it says thank you so I'm going to go ahead and click thank you because I want to select from different thank you pages templates um, so I'm going to scroll through here and find one that is simple okay so I, I do really like this one so I'm going to go ahead and select this one so again I'm going to go ahead and edit the page So again, I'm going to come on over here and I'm going to select my logo, add image, and then you can change the text here. So I'm just going to say, thank you for your order. And then I can say, check your email for your order information. And then you can have a button here to click to contact us or you can go ahead and remove it. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this out. And then I'm going to go ahead and click save. All right. So after that person has entered in their credit card information, they will be bought to this thank you page, which we literally created this page in under a minute. So it's very, very easy and fast. Now notice that when you start with ClickFunnels, they're going to give you a lot of extra uh, steps. You can go ahead and delete out the steps if you don't need it. Um, but it's really not necessary because whenever people land on your thank you page, they will not go any further inside of your funnel because you did not give them that option. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. All right, so I just showed you guys how to create your first ever product landing page, how to create your order form, which is super easy, and your thank you page. It's a very, very simple funnel where people only focus on one specific product. Now, obviously, if you guys want a more detailed um, explanation on how to do um, integrating your domain, integrating everything else. I do have it um, specifically inside of my free ClickFunnels training, so go ahead and register for that. But other than that, if you have any more questions on this, go ahead and leave it down in the comments section and let's hop on back. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this training. I really do hope that you got a ton of value. Um, and as promised that you stuck to the very end of this video, if you do want to claim my free ClickFunnels course and all of my free funnels, all you have to do is follow the steps that I have laid out here. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and claim your free ClickFunnels course. Just go to CF tbootcamp.com and once you go in there simply register for your account and you'll get instant access to my click funnels course where I go more in depth on how to correctly set up your click funnels and how to create your funnels and also how to claim all of my done for you funnels so tons and tons of value in there so I really do hope that you guys check it out um, so the step two is obviously if you haven't already, go ahead and register for your free 14-day free trial. As I showed you before, all you have to do is go to freetrial.tbootcamp.com to claim your free 14-day free trial. Now step three, what you can do is go ahead and download your free high-converting sales funnel, um, the one that I've pre-built. 
um, contains multiple upsells so definitely worthwhile to download the one I have for you guys for free simply go to funnel.tbootcamp.com now if you guys are running a you know email opt-in campaign you want to collect email addresses you can also download um, my opt-in leads funnel that's currently converting at 70 percent which is above average than most people's opt-in funnels so I'm gonna give you that also for free um, once you claim your free click funnels course and you register underneath my link which is freetrial.tbootcamp.com don't forget to register underneath my link in order to get access to my free funnels and step five is to watch all of my free training that I have for you inside of my free click funnels course I've really um, spent a lot of time kind of creating every aspect on how to set it up you know definitely look at how I set it up make sure that everything is done correctly so that you know you don't have any troubles when you're trying to run traffic to your funnels and something that is not working in each of the steps because I know it can be frustrating when you're starting out so again let me know if you guys have any questions also guys if you um, want to mastermind with other entrepreneurs just like you building out funnels building out a Shopify store building anything in e-commerce then I do really recommend you join my free Facebook support group I have the link down below really a great community where you can ask questions or you can even help someone out um, in terms of you know how to build a funnel things like that alrighty guys so again if you love content just like this please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel I really do have more content that I would love to share with you guys so don't forget to stay subscribed so you'll be notified every time I release a video just like this alright guys thank you again for watching live free